<laughs> it's only taken till the 3rd of July. <laughs> Excellent. So welcome to Moggy Box Craft. I'm Deborah, and today I've got another garden update for you. And greenhouse and anything else to do with the garden. The joys of living in Scotland. One day it's sunny, the next day it's raining, it's dreek and then sunshine and then wind and Rah! Welcome to Scotland. I hope you like four seasons in one day. This is only about my third year of gardening and second year in the greenhouse, I think. Although it does feel a bit like a lifetime already. <laughs> We're getting ready to do some harvesting. There's lots growing, repotting, all that fun stuff. And we've had a few visitors. <laughs> some good visitors some not so good and some really cute visitors. I'll get onto that later in the video. So before I get into showing you what's happening in the garden at the moment, I'm going to show you what I filmed on the 23rd of June. So it's the 23rd of June 2020 and I've just been in the garden chopping back some of the potato plants because they'd gone wild. I've also chopped off some more. Chico, please, please darling, don't eat the curry plant. What are you doing? Yeah, I see you. Are you eating the mint plant? No, don't eat that. Come here. What are you eating my herbs for? Just you go lie down and play in the grass or something. <laughs> Stop eating all my food. Stop eating the grass as well. Chico, don't eat that either. Anyway, so I've also chopped off some of the heads of the garlic and the onions to stop that going to flower. I just started trimming back some of the red currant. Look who I found. Found this little caterpillar raiding my red currants. How rude. Sorry dude, you cannot live in my garden. Especially if you're going to eat all the produce. Nearly forgot. It's the most exciting bit. We have tomatoes. Yes, look at them they are. So finally the tomatoes have started to appear. These are the sun gold. Oh, and there's some more under there as well. I think it's really important just to keep on top of the tomato plants because uh, <laughs> They just go wild so quickly. It's amazing how quickly the side shoots pop back in and the leaves grow back so quickly. So yeah, I am pretty brutal when it comes to tomato plants, but I think you have to be. Now the tomato plants are flowering, I am starting to add a little bit of tomato food into my watering can when I'm watching the tomatoes. I've also popped the can and the jalapeno chilies into this empty pot here. Obviously I've not dug them in yet. I'm going to wait until they're a tiny bit bigger and stronger. The jalapeno looks like it's coming on really well. I've got a little bit extra growth there. Hopefully they're coming as well. Virginia 3 courgette is flowering. My other courgette plant is starting to produce a tiny little courgette down there as well. It's been a few days since I popped in the Brussels sprouts and the pumpkins. That is the Atlantic Giant. These are the crown prints. They've taken, by the looks of it, Brussels sprouts seem to be quite happy as well. And here is my first nasturtium flower of the year. I love nasturtiums. So this year I've got orange ones and pink ones. Oh, there seems to be loads along there. Can't wait to see what they look like. I did find more caterpillars. They had to go because they were all in all my red currants. And I'm sorry, I'm not sharing red currants with them. No way, no how. Although maybe they were only eating the leaves. Can't take the risk. They had to get relocated also. We've also had a few other little visitors. Mice! Last year I think we caught 16 mice. I mean there was one day, I think we caught four in one day. So we use these little humane traps that you catch the mice in and we just relocate them. <laughs> Maybe they just come back, I don't know. You know, they're probably like in my garden like, let's just call one of the mice Bruce and one day, right? All right, Bruce, oh, look at all this veg. Hit the jackpot here. Dave, yeah, yeah, totally love it, loving this garden. And then Bruce gets caught and he gets shoved off to his new location. Can you imagine a surprise when we trap Dave as well and like open his little, the little door and the scamper off. Ah, Dave, what are you doing here? Yeah, I got relocated. It's location, location, location. Back to the nature. Well, we obviously put them back to more like natural habitat rather than the greenhouse, you know? Or in the house, which is where we've been catching them this time. <laughs> Can you imagine Bruce is surprised? Dave, it's so good to see you. Really missed that like, little cushy number we had with all that tomatoes and lettuce. Oh, I mate, that was good. We'll have to find our way back there. And I'm curious, do they? <laughs> Do they just scamper back? Do they find their way back to my garden? So what probably doesn't help is that I put lots of bird seed feeders out. I know the mice really like it because they have gotten into the bird feed bag and they seem to really like that a lot. So yeah, we've had some mice, that's been lovely. So this is the first mouse of the year. We don't kill them, we just relocate them. These are the traps we use 
they're humane traps so they just go in this little door when it's flicked up and then this bit clips and then the door falls down and catches them so it's really they're really easy to open and then you can just relocate them andy is going to relocate you now have a lovely life please don't come back and vivid hello taxi for moose <laughs> taxi for moose i'll just leave the meter running outside the <laughs> it is taxi for one moose please so here's our second mouse we've caught yeah, you can't live here either, dude. He's definitely more of a live wire. He's so cute, though. Just caught our third mouse. Caught him overnight last night. He's really dinky. I mean, look how big he is compared to my nail. Hey, friend. Yeah, pop you back into the wild. Oh, there we go. There we go. Here we go. Bye, friend. And the slugs and snails are always going to be a problem. Always. That's just life in the garden. They love the pea plants this year, and of course the lettuce, and the sweet corn. Okay, right, they love everything. I've even found a couple in the beetroot. So Chica's down here with me. If you hear any dog noises, sorry about that, they don't care. I really hope you don't either. We also had a tiny invasion from a cat. I think this must be a new cat to the area, but he's really cute. Chico doesn't know what to do with him. Pele! Oh, it's a ruckus. The cats realise that there's bird feeders in our hedge. And you can see him like crawling up top of the wall and just like watching the birds from the top of the wall in the hedge. I don't really know what to do about that, but he's just living his best life. I did find quite a lot of feathers the other day. And you'd think having dogs that would keep him out of the garden. It doesn't. <laughs> he's not facing the slightest. Hey, visitor. I'm afraid, Chico, you're no getting out there. Oh, have you just spotted him? Have you? <coughs> Who was that on the decking? But anyway, it's now the 3rd of July 2020! July! I mean, yesterday was April. How am I in July? I don't know how we got to July. It's gone really fast, well for me anyway. Let's go see the greenhouse. It is the 3rd of July 2020. Here's how the greenhouse is all looking. Everything's growing as good as can be expected. The peas are looking really good. Definitely need to start harvesting them and maybe do that a bit later. I've now planted the cayenne pepper and the jalapeno pepper. So he's grown a little bit more since you've seen him earlier. So this is a pepper plant. I don't know if he's got any flowers in him yet. He was getting ravaged by the slugs and snails. The Hungarian black chilli pepper just here. Yeah, he's coming on a fair bit as well. So these peppers are the F1 redskins. Quite a few little flowers starting to appear in the peppers. So hopefully that'll be a flower and then a pepper. Fingers crossed. Underneath the pepper plants, I had all these mushrooms growing. I don't know if it was just with the heat and stuff. They've obviously all died off now. I don't know what's going on there. This is the asparagus. I think it's gone absolutely wild. I have no idea what this is supposed to look like or what it's supposed to do. That is definitely not an asparagus. That's a weed. Get out. Is this right? I can't think this can be right. On to the tomato plants. So important to keep on top of the tomato plants because they just grow, well, a bit like weeds, but not weeds, obviously, tomato plants, but they just grow so fast. You've really got to keep on top of all the extra leaf growth and all the side shoots because it just goes wild. Bit of an experiment. On a few of them, I have just chopped off the tops just to see because they're just getting a bit wild and they get a bit top heavy and start flopping. This system of support has really worked this year. It's worked so much better than canes and everything so far. So I would definitely do this again next year. So these are tomatoes I showed you earlier. So they are starting to grow, but we have got loads more. These are the sun gold tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes here lots of flowers everywhere so i'm hoping that will equate to lots of tomatoes on to the last tomatoes these are money makers money maker tomato they are is that it that's my only oh no wait look oh so that's tomato update we have tomatoes we just need them to go red next to the tomatoes we've got the aubergines i did have some infestation in there with bugs and things but i have treated the plants now maybe we'll get aubergines obviously something has been eaten at this one butternut squash in this corner. He is taking on a life of his own. That's why I put him down in the bottom corner. I don't mind if he kind of takes over this sort of corner. So I do get any squash growing. I will put a bit of cardboard down here just to protect it from all these stones and everything in the bottom of the greenhouse. And I don't mind if the butternut squash goes wild because he's next to the sweet corn. And generally the sweet corn don't need a lot of tending to. Sweet corn looks like it's about to start flowering. Oh, and this one as well. 
I think that one at the back there looks like it's going to flower too. Usually the sweet corn get a bit taller, they usually hit the top of my greenhouse. Little gem lettuce. I just let it grow like this and we just pull off these leaves and eat them. Iceberg lettuce. Oh, it's my fave. And again, it's gone a bit wild, but we'll just start pulling off and eat it. <gasps> Winter lettuce. You are finally looking like proper, well, like you're going to be heads of lettuce. Um, and spinach. Nothing new to report. Onto these wee guys. Taking the lemongrass back into the greenhouse. He's absolutely getting ravaged, I think, by the cold and weather and probably by slugs and snails. So we're going to see if he recovers a little bit more in the greenhouse. This is the Chinese lantern flowers that was on the deck and he kind of flooded after a load of water got in him from rain and I didn't notice. So I've just repotted him. So hopefully he'll be a little bit happier. These newer leaves look happier. So I don't mind about these ones if they kind of are not looking quite so happy. Himalayan poppies. I am so proud of the Himalayan poppies. I mean, obviously we still don't have poppies yet, but plant looks healthy. I've just repotted him, so hopefully he'll stay happy and maybe we'll get poppies. Maybe not this year, but hopefully next year. Last but certainly not least, we've got the passion flower. At least they're growing, which is a damn sight more than I thought they would. We'll wait and see how that goes. It's a little snapshot of the rest of the garden. Courgettes are flowering. They are starting to get courgettes forming, which is fantastic. The pumpkins I put replanted last time seem to be taking all really well, and so is the Brussels sprouts. I had some onion seedlings down here, and I've just planted them along the air the other day and watered them in. And I've taken the protector off the carrots, so we have got carrots, not many, but we have got carrots. So I'm going to wait and see if this drich day dries up so I can show you the rest of the garden properly and do some harvesting. So it's stopped raining. I don't know how long for. But I'm going to take the opportunity and show you the rest of the garden. Strawberries are all looking amazing. I am so chuffed with all these strawberries. They're all starting to turn red. I want some more over here. Got loads in here, so I'm going to harvest them later. I've put a wee collection of the herbs down here. I've been wondering what I'd put in this pot. So it's lavender. So pleased with that. Avocados. Nah, don't know how they're really doing. And then we've got all the herbs in here. Parsley, marigold. That marigold is looking beautiful. We've got thyme, basil, and garlic chive in the corner. So that's pretty much all my herbs down here. Into the garden. Oh, is this rose starting to open? This rose is trying to do something. I did give this rose a chop back because it's just gone a little bit wild. I've repotted all the mint curry plants. I know this one looks a little bit sad at the back, but hopefully now he's been repotted, he'll be a lot happier. Same as this mint. He's a lot happier at the back there. And I've repotted a few of the flowers as well. So this is the petunia storm lavender. These are beautiful. So delicate. I'm starting to see a few little flowers down here. So these are the blackberry, red currant, and raspberry just down, that little one down there. The blackberry was just trailing all over the ground. I've got a little hook in the wall here. So I have just taken string, just garden twine, here and here, putting a bit of support for the red currant and the blackberry. We are starting to get blackberries appearing up here as well. Red currants are starting to change colour. But the red currants are coming on really well. There's so many. I think as they start to turn red, I'm starting to realise quite how many there is. Loads under there as well. When you look up from under the plant, you can really see how many red currants are there. On to the raspberries. Oh, the raspberries are starting to ripen. Oh, they look really good. I'm so chuffed that this plant is coming back to life. Love raspberries. And I've given this manny a nice head of hair. These are the blue labellas. I don't know if it picks up on camera quite how blue they are. They look maybe more purple on camera, but well, maybe in a more indigo blue, but they're gorge. The climbing roses. I will just deadhead all these guys. He's still flowering quite happily. We've got apple tree and pear tree. Unfortunately, we've not got any pears this year, but I've not spotted any as yet. Apples, on the other hand, are coming on really well. So the apples are looking really good. So we will press them later on in the year and make cider. Marrow peas down here. They're coming on really good. Just about ready for harvesting. Climbing French bean. Not any beans on him as yet, but he is starting to climb. Shiraz mange too in here. We can harvest and eat them at any time now. I love the colour of these. We're just kind of picking them and throwing them in stir fries and curries and everything now. Oh, hi, little bumblebee. So this is the bramble. 
He's so spiky, so I won't touch him. But we've got so many flowers forming, so all these should be brambles. That'll give you a view of how much the brambles grow in. I mean, I'm hoping to get loads of brambles. So I really hope we get lots of brambles because this was my absolute favourite last year. Black currant at the bottom of the garden here. We've got lots of berries on the black currant, but none seem to be turning or ripening yet. So we'll just wait for that to happen. Olive tree. He sprouted loads. I gave him a right good chop back at the start of spring. He's got all this like, new growth on him. Just so much growth on him in the sturgeons. Beautiful edible flowers. We've got the pink flowers this year. Oh, and that looks nearly red, doesn't it? That's an amazing colour. Compared to these ones, which are just such bright orange. And then down here, we've got the yellow nasturgiums. It's a total kaleidoscope of colour. It might be actually my favourite pot in the whole garden. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I've never had one this colour before. Is it the soil? I don't know. Bay tree is growing quite happily in his pot. I really should plant him somewhere, but I really don't know where to, so he's going to have to stay there for right now. We've got blueberry here. I'm sure I've seen blueberries starting to form. Oh yes, a little blueberry in there. And down here we've got another blueberry. Yeah, he's got blueberries on him. Just going to have to wait for them to ripen. Onto the raised beds. Garlic is very near ready for harvesting. I will show you a few of what I've pulled so far over the last couple of weeks. Tatties or potatoes at the back there. Yep, they're just doing their thing. <laughs> onions, yep, just onions. Um, still pulling heads off to stop them going to flower. Beetroot in here. Beetroot's coming along okay, I think. A little while for that's ready. Rogue potato here, but behind the rogue potato is the courgettes. A Virginia 3 courgette here and regular courgette over there. I think that might be my first courgette growing. Now, although they look quite small in here at the moment, they will get so much taller than the beetroot. So we all know about my bit of a fail this year with carrots. This is how the carrots are looking now. It's still not the best, let's be honest, but they're growing. At least I've got some carrots. This is where I planted the onion seedlings. Brussels sprouts, they're all looking really happy. And then we've got the Crown Prince pumpkin in here. They're looking happy enough. Rogue potatoes have been left. And then behind here, this is the Atlantic giant pumpkin. So we'll see how he gets on. This part of the garden is quite dark. We are starting to get flowers in this box. So all these little black planters are now filled with flowers. I did just pot these ones in. So I'm not sure what to say about this little cutting down here. I mean, he's still got flowers on them, so maybe it'll take, maybe it'll be okay. We'll wait and find out. This is just a smash of everything. The mixed pots of seeds, so we'll see how they go on. Now, on to some flowers. Of course, this is the darkest part of the garden. I mean, we didn't catch these at their best. These are just so beautiful. Just love when everything starts flowering. One interesting thing I did notice is these are hydrangeas, and so is that one. How much more yellow that one is compared to this one, and I think that has a lot to do with lack of sunlight. I've repotted a little Christmas tree as well. These guys are starting to flower. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Although, I did find this sticker on a small plant pot and I wonder if this is what it is. Onto this planter. As we can see, all the flowers are doing okay. Hollyhocks in there, Chinese lantern, the sturgeons, a little bit of everything. Lobelia, it's got a smatter, I've got some marigolds in there. That looks quite happy. Sunflowers. To be honest, the sunflowers haven't been fabulous. This is probably my best sunflower so far. And yeah, he's got, a, there's a lot of bamboo in here trying to like salvage them with our wind. I'm really, I'm really hoping this one flowers. This is this hydrangea. He doesn't look nearly as happy and I think it's just so dark in the bottom of the corner. So we've got barrage down here. They're such beautiful little flowers. Again, they go wild. So I've had to put some bamboo supports in for them as well. Where they can get a little bit top heavy. But I love them. The rhubarb, which is doing great and the newly planted gala tree this year. So no apples, so I didn't have to pull them off, which is excellent. But he is growing really happily by the looks of it. Yes, the grass is patchy. No, we don't care. <laughs> but it's fine, the dog's rolling it and they love it. So who cares? Well, it's not for you, is it? Absolutely not. My first little harvest of the year. We've already been eating some of the peas and some lettuce. These are the garlic I've pulled out over the last few weeks. They've come out okay, I think. I mean, I've not dried them yet, so we'll soon find out. I'm gonna wait for the stalks to dry before I take off these roots. And then we'll give them a try. I've got some strawberries. 
got a white strawberry here. The seeds are red and the skin is usually like this pale pink colour. I didn't think I had any of these guys left, so I'm quite chuffed with that. And we've got red currants. The red currants, I've only just picked the absolute ripest berries. We've got Shiraz Monge too in this beautiful deep purple colour. And we've got some peas. Oh, awesome. Oh, I've just lost one. Don't eat it, Chico. That is how my peas are looking. So I'll get them shelled and get them eaten. This was my first little harvest of the year. <laughs> it's only taken till the 3rd of July. <laughs> Excellent. Oh my god, that strawberry is amazing. They're really good. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks I will get the rest of the garlic harvested. Here's to more good weather and more good gardening. If you've enjoyed seeing this garden and greenhouse update, leave a like, leave a comment and let me know how you're getting on with your greenhouse or garden. Or even indoor plants. Everyone loves a pot plant. Subscribing is optional, but of course it is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Then? Are we just gonna lie here and have a nap? This is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Are you going swimming today? We've got hydrotherapy for Pell today. Are you excited to go to your hydro? Are you excited for swimming? I do recognise he's a dog and he has no idea of what I'm saying, but Or do you? Oh my bad, sorry, sorry. <laughs> right, well we go and have a look at the greenhouse and then we'll take you to hydro. Yeah? Oh, it's such a hard life.